Mr. Grogan, I, I hate to tell you this, but uh, the uh, terms of the debate have expanded since Mr. Oberweiss uh, was in Florida. So I'm going to ask you, where have you been in relation to your wife? Bath is her name? Yes. Right, and you have three children, is that right? You That's live in correct. Downers Grove, is that correct, Mr. Grogan? Just I, answer the question. I, I did spend okay. the night in Downers Grove last night. Okay, there, that's enough. All right, so why, you know, a lot of people don't know about In my it. own home. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Although, you were telling me before that you did spend a night in the car recently. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, driving back from uh, Effingham, there was an ice storm. Watch your was, language. Sorry. Mm -hmm. It was about uh, 1 o'clock in the morning. I pulled over three times, scraping ice off the windshield, and finally <laughs> just gave up and pulled into a rest stop, me and 45 semis. Uh, I just would, every once in a while, I'd wake up to just to make sure that the, the snow wasn't over the tailpipe. That's the uh, glamorous <laughs> life of politics that, <laughs> that people who aren't running for office don't see. Call, uh, all those poli sci majors need to be careful. That's right. That's right. Uh, uh, and so uh, this race for treasure, it seems to me this is a race very much like the Senate race in terms of are we going to go with uh, somebody that uh, has been evaluated before and found wanting or are we going to kind of t t usher in a new generation of leadership intellectually in addition to age-wise, and that's the choice between you and Tom Cross. Yeah, I, I always joke that uh, uh, about my, my opponent's experiences. Uh, just because you've been the witness to a 20-year bank robbery does not make you qualified to be the state's banker. <laughs> That's, see, he's, that's yeah. enough. Yeah. We don't that's, need that's air a anymore. Good tagline. That's Thank a, you very much. That's Your a, cars <laughs> need, to be, need to be warmed up right now. That's especially a good tagline coming in from a CPA. You normally don't get that kind of color. Oh, no. Uh, I've spoken before the Illinois CPA Society. Oh, my God. Uh, boy, oh. I don't know who I feel more sorry for. <laughs> right. uh, and so Tom Cross, though, he is, even though he's been uh, in the General Assembly for 20 years, and uh, as I call him, the architect of the super minority in the House, uh, <laughs> it, he is running against the status quo, so I understand from his uh, correspondence. Yeah, I guess I'm the establishment. Um, it's, it's fascinating that, that somebody, you know, who took us from, what, 54 seats to 47, uh, you know, decides that... Uh, he needs a promotion. Uh, there's, a, there's a little riddle we tell around the state is uh, how many times do you have to get beat by Mike Madigan to deserve a promotion? And, and so what's the difference between you and Cross other than uh, you're qualified? Oh, objection. Leading right. the witness. Sustained. Yeah. All right, move on. Answer the question. <laughs> you know, I, I actually want to be treasurer, I think is another important thing. <laughs> Um, I, I like, I'm just using this job till my next right. TV gig. Yeah. Go I, ahead, Mr. Grogan. I mean, I, my plans are not to make the uh, the treasurer's office um, a version of the attorney general's office with training wheels. Um, <laughs> I mean, his platform literally is to sue the other parts of government, um, which is about as ludicrous as anything. I mean, only a career politician would think you can sue your way out of a fiscal crisis. Well, and if he was going to do that, he's had 20 years to do that. We, we've had Republican treasurers for 16 in the last 20 years, and all of a sudden the magic bullet has discovered that, oh, we just go to a court. What, what I, I always laugh is, so the, the Constitution says you're supposed to balance the budget, and the legislature doesn't do it. And so now a judge says it, so it's kind of like, no, no, I double dare you. <laughs> To the yeah, hey, Dan, Dan, who's the funnier? Wasn't Newhart an accountant? <laughs> yeah. Can you talk I'm off sure. King Kong off the skyscraper <laughs> right now? I think uh, just do a bit right here. Uh, let me ask you, Mr. Grogan. Mm -hmm. uh, will you follow uh, GAAP? Yeah, for those of you who don't know, oh, gap Gen accounting. Oh, generally you. accepted yeah. accounting principles. Uh, okay. Do you promise uh, to do that? I Mr. promise Grogan. to be an advocate for that. But the uh, interesting thing about what am I talking about? Mr. Governmental Grogan? accounting, yes. by definition, is has two sets of books. Okay. Sure. <laughs> If you, of course. <laughs> if you do it right, you have two sets of books. Yes. Uh, sure. You can't. You can't. Can't keep the actual book uh, available for it's public uh, no. scrutiny. No, of oh course. My uh, talk. A, talk a little bit uh, more generally about the race too. I mean, look, the treasurer's uh, office. I know you said you want to be treasurer, but we've had some treasurers in the past have used that uh, office as a stepping stone to run for governor. For example, yeah. Judy Bartopinka did it. Dan Rutherford is doing it this cycle. Pat so, Quinn. Pat Quinn. Uh, good, another good one. Uh, so. So people uh, should be interested uh, in kind of your range of views in terms of are you a conservative, are you sure. a moderate, and how do you compare sure. it across? Sure. I always start off by saying, you know, while these issues don't have anything to do with the office, uh, people do have a tendency to pass through there. Um, so I, I'm a conservative. I'm, I'm not ashamed to say it on, on a personal level. I, I've been advocating uh, the Republican Party and, and, and its related issues for a long time. I've been... Uh, Involved for almost 20 years in Republican politics, and, and I'm a normal conservative. Well, what does that mean, Mr. Grogan? It means I actually brush my teeth in the morning and, uh. you know, things like that. You're a three-dimensional human being. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and I'm, quote, unquote, I'm funny for an accountant, I guess, I'm told as well. But no, I, I think I'm, you're funny for a regular Joe <laughs> or, you know, somebody who doesn't even have a CPA. 
Just right. your garden variety bookkeeper. And, and really for yeah. someone who's a certified fraud examiner as well. Right? And it seems like that would be appropriate for state government. Right. Uh, what's, uh, so tomorrow, as people are contemplating going, uh, who they're going to make, uh, the choices they're going to make when they go to the polls, what's the question that you want to implant in people's minds when they think about you versus Cross in this primary election? Uh, when they hear Bob Grogan, I want the echo to be CPA um, and to know that, you know, I'm qualified. You know, people always ask, you know, why are you running for office? And I tell them if qualified people don't run, lawyers do. Do you think over... <laughs> <laughs> uh, first we kill all the lawyers. Okay. Yeah. Very what, Shakespearean, uh, his yeah, candidacy. It's unbelievable. <laughs> so do you think Oberweiss uh, hurt the ticket, even though it's all, it's all Republican right now, by, uh, you know... Hurting the optics, not going uh, going off and visiting his wife, who who he did want to spend time with because he had a, a failed first marriage. Yeah, you know, I, I sort of watched that with uh, kind of that um, gaper kind of uh, mentality, as, you know, <laughs> watching these things go through. Um, you know, any any bad PR move is is bad for the whole ticket, I'm sure. Um, but uh, you know, I understand he had his reasons, and and I think the people will. You know, see whether those reasons were good enough. More information on your campaign can be found where? VoteGrogan.com.